Commercial satellite images reveal that North Korea has carved at least two large trenches across roads and rail lines on its heavily armed border with South Korea since it blew up the northern sections of cross-border routes earlier this month. Tensions between the Koreas are at their highest point in years as North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has repeatedly showcased his expanding nuclear weapons and missile programs, while reportedly providing Russia with munitions and troops to support President Vladimir Putin's war in Ukraine. Kim has vowed to sever relations and abandon the long-standing goal of reconciliation with South Korea, whose conservative government has taken a hard line on the North's nuclear ambitions. Satellite images taken Wednesday by Planet Labs PBC showed a trench cut across a road and a rail line running through the western part of the demilitarized zone between the Koreas. Work on the trenches appears to have begun shortly after North Korea staged choreographed demolitions of a road near Kaesong, a western North Korean border city, and a combined road and rail section near the Korea's eastern border on October 15. In Planet Labs images examined by the Associated Press, the first sign of the trenches appeared on October 17, after cloud cover blocked the view for the four previous days. The western trench is 1.7 kilometers west of Dorasan Station, the last station on the line on the South Korean side that used to run to a now-shuttered factory complex in Kaesong. The factories, which symbolized a past era of rapprochement between the rivals, were jointly run by the Koreas until Seoul shut it down in 2016 over a North Korean nuclear test. Analysts at the North Korea-focused website 38 North, who first reported the existence of the trenches, said the work began almost immediately after North Korea blew up the roads and rail sections. The analysts estimated that the Western Trench is about 125 meters long and about 7 meters wide, with large piles of dirt on either side of it. The purpose of the trench and dirt is unclear beyond it being some type of blockade that is intended to sever the transportation links. The mound could be part of the barrier, or it could be a temporary product of the construction work, the analysts wrote. They said several trucks were still visible at the site, indicating that work is not yet complete. They estimated the trench at the eastern crossing is slightly longer at 150 meters and has dirt and land clearance only on one side. Russians on Wednesday commemorated the millions of people sent to prison camps by the late Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin, marking the Day of Victims of Political Repression, the anniversary of the so-called Great Purge of 1937. A service was held and candles lit at the Church of New Martyrs and Confessors, at the Butovo site south of Moscow, where firing squads executed thousands of people during the height of Stalin's purges. The Butovo firing range was used for executions from 1930 until after Stalin's death in 1953. Some 20,000 people, including priests and artists, were killed there in 1937-38 alone. In Russia's far eastern city of Magadan, mourners gathered at the Mask of Grief monument for a commemoration ceremony, where names of known victims were read out. The monument is located at a former transit point through which all prisoners were sent to the camps of the region. A campaign of massive political repressions which occurred in the 1930s affected various parts of society, diverse ethnic groups, and different professions, from peasants to high-ranking government and military officials. Modern historical studies estimate a total number of around 1 million of purge deaths in 1937-38 alone. The reprisals continued almost unabated until Stalin's death in 1953. которая 
реализуют государственные. Федор Павлович. Джартов Владимир Алексеевич. Янч Рельгор Карлович. Эпифанов Алексей Иванович. Яраулин Николай Ильич. Ергин Георгий Филиппович. Брат моей мамы был репрессирован в 1938 году. Он был арестован и с момента ареста и до исполнения приговора всего месяц прошел, как его не стало. Ему 25 лет было. Родителям, родственникам не говорили, просто его арестовали. Ну, как обычно, тогда вы арестовывали молча. Вот. Ну, так догадывались, что ну, сказали, что не ищите его нет. Такой день который для... Он сложный. Он сложный, и количество людей, которые погибли здесь, оно просто огромное. Вот. Хочется почтить памятью этих людей, эту дату. В области неразрывно связано с сегодня одним из таких дней. Редактор субтитров А.Семкин Корректор А.Егорова